Am I the a-hole for not giving any money to my parents after they cut me out of the family? First I want to say sorry for typos, English is not my first language. For some background, I have a twin, 25F, who I will call Lauren. Since the day we're born Lauren was always the golden child, our parents always chose her over me, and there were clear favoritism, until we graduated from high school, Lauren chose not to go to college, and she started a party lifestyle, so because that I was my parents' favorite, I hated it, yes I was the favorite one now, but I hated slash hate the fact they have favorites, my parents are both doctors, and they expect us to become one too, because their parents are both doctors, and so are a lot of another family members. So when I chose to become a pilot not a doctor they were upset and even said I have to become one because my sister will not become one and I'm all they got, I just wanted out of that toxic environment. So I rented an apartment and busted my ass off to become a pilot while working so I could live on my own. Now seven years later I'm a pilot and I live in a different town far away from my family. I'm engaged to love of my life, 26M, and I'm pregnant with our first. We got engaged when he proposed me two months ago, and I was beyond happy. I found out soon after that I was pregnant, and we are so happy. Important to the story my fiancé is from an upper-class family, so he grew up rich and his family, including him, are wealthy. When I announce that I'm pregnant on social media, I don't know how but my mom found my account and saw the picture of me, and my fiancé announcing we're pregnant. Then she texted me. I still have my old number and she has it, asking for a meetup. I said yes because we haven't talked or seen each other for six to seven years. We met at a cafe, and after a while it was clear she only wanted money from me. She told me how my sister had fallen pregnant a year after I left, and how my father had diagnosed with cancer. She also told me how they needed to move to a bigger house, because my sister had lost her job and house, and she needed to move in with her child. After telling me all that she simply asked if I could give them some money to buy a house to them and help a bit with my father's cancer treatment, since she knows my fiancé is rich. I don't know how she knows that. I said I will not be going to do that because I haven't even talked them for at least six years. She began calling me names and then she left. After that I got many texts and calls from other family members calling me in awe for not giving them any money, even though I could easily do that. I have not changed my mind. I just think they are being unreasonable, and it's my fiancé's money, so it's not mine to give away. So am I the a-hole? Edit 1. There were some people questioning why my parents don't have enough money, bigger house, or health insurance. So after me and my sister, we are the only children they have, moved out my parents' house they moved to a smaller house. We do not live in the U.S. so doctors don't make that much money as in the U.S., also as in the U.S. and in here. Health insurance doesn't cover everything. I don't know what happened to their money, and I don't care. In my opinion, they deserved it. Also, thank you for all the nice things you said. Edit 2. Many of you said, get a new number. And I did. So now I can finally live in peace without all the texts and calls from my family members. Also, I told about this to my fiancé and showed all the nice comments you commented, and he wanted to thank everyone. Me and my fiancé are now focusing on us and the baby we are planning to getting married after the baby is born and little bit older so she slash she can be part of it, if everything goes well. Update. So here is all that has happened since the last edit. I don't know where to start but here it goes. Our doctor had some concerns about the baby, but it's all good now. We were so worried, but it ended up nothing. I don't want to share what it was, because it's private, but let's just say that if it would have been true. My pregnancy would end in a miscarriage, but since it was not the case, it will not. Also we found out the gender, and we're expecting a baby girl. We are so excited, and what comes to my family, I have not heard from them. So everything is going great, now this will probably be my last update about this whole thing. But you never know, 